us this evening, two men managed to swim away from a seaplane that went down in the bay. It made a splash landing about three miles south of Davis Islands. News Channel A's Steve Andrews joins us now live. And Steve, what can you tell us about how this happened? Well, Gail, let me first tell you that, first of all, Tampa police towed this aircraft here about an hour and a half ago, got here about 3.30, and currently they're pumping water out of the aircraft. Now, a Tampa man was considering, considering purchasing the seaplane, so he and the pilot were out for a test flight. Then it ended up six feet under. Eric Olinger of Tampa, the guy in the red shirt, and Robert Kerrigan of Orlando were fished out of the water this morning. The seaplane Kerrigan was flying went into the drink. Well, the pilot says it's his fault. He uh, it was pilot error. He was trying to uh, fly close to the water. He realized, didn't realize his landing gear was down. The plane splashed into the bay about three miles south of Davis Islands. Hillsborough County firefighter paramedic Frank Leto and fishing captain Harrison Hodges were fishing. Hodges thought he saw a boat foundering. And there was another plane circling it, so we decided to go over there and check it out and saw the two gentlemen trying to swim to the island. When it, we saw what was going on, we saw two men swimming in the water. The first thing we asked, is there anybody else in the plane? Um, is anybody injured? Uh, they said no and no. I said okay, so we pulled them in. Tampa Fire Rescue met them all at the Davis Island boat ramp. This rescue will go down as the catch of the day. Probably got on the water about 10 o'clock and pulled them out of the water at 1130. It's the only thing we caught today. Now, Tampa Police Marine officers attached airbags, floated the aircraft, and then managed to tow it here to Davis Island. Gale, according to TPD, Olinger and Kerrigan just suffered minor bumps and bruises. Very lucky. Well, they are very lucky. Now, see the plane behind you. What's next? A wingectomy, actually. And let me tell you, they're uh, going to be uh, removing a wing, the wing, before they can take it and tow it over to uh, a hangar for inspection. Tampa police indicate that the National Transportation Safety Board has been contacted and will conduct an investigation. However, I just spoke to somebody from the airport authority, and they told me the Federal Aviation Administration is on site. Yeah.